Now you Philippians know also, in the beginning of the gospel, the very time that Paul reached out to them, and if, I, if there's a lot in here, I'm going to wrap this up, but I want you to catch this part. When I departed from Macedonia, this is a traveling man, I and mean, he was all over the map. He said, no church shared with me concerning giving and receiving. Say, and receiving. And receiving. But you only. I, I want you to know how many times I have read that verse before and never noticed that the two go together. And how many times have you read it? How many times have you heard messages about give, give, give? Well, I'm going to preach a message about give, give, give all the time. But along with give, 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 I'm going to talk about receive, receive, receive. Amen. Because this was the message that Paul communicated to those Philippians. And he said, you were the only ones who, you were the only ones who asked me about giving and receiving. Not that giving was any more important than receiving. Because only what you receive can you give. You know, it takes, it takes people with substance and money to bless other people. You know, and that's that's the way it is. It takes it takes people with gifts and talents to use those talents for the kingdom of God. It's like the uh, the prayer of Jabez in the Old Testament. Lord, that you would bless me. I mean, he was just bold enough to go before God and said, God, I've got a prayer. I want, I want you to bless me. Bless me, God, with the understanding that as you bless me, I'll bless others. If you're a blessed person, it's almost naturally supernatural and supernaturally natural that you're going to overflow into the lives of someone else. And that's where the blessing overflows, and, and when it flows and when it's channeled out, it flows back into you. I had someone say to me, he said, well, that's no difference in karma. That's no different than karma. What goes around comes around. No, that's what we call seed faith in the New Testament. Yeah, it's, it, it's, it's far beyond karma. It's not just what goes around comes around. Because what goes around in the Christian life goes as a seed in the ground and it comes forth multiplied back to you. Sometimes 30-fold, 60-fold, 100-fold. It's seed that is sown. 